Hi guys, so oh my gosh, it's been such a long time since I last made a video game review and I'm so sorry, but it, you know that it takes some time to kind of like uh, try the game and then like think about it and you know get the feelings I just don't like okay I'm starting a game today and I'm reviewing it like in the afternoon like you know what the hell is that so today I'm coming up with a game that I've been playing for two months now so it's basically Harvest Moon Island of Happiness as you might see in the title it's kind of obvious and I first want to say that I really like this game but I can understand that it got some pretty bad reviews almost everywhere because there's still some stuff that needs some adjustment, but for me, it's pretty fine because I'm kind of easy to play as with any game, basically. So first, I'm going to talk about the music. You basically have two types of music, the music during daytime and the music at night. So during daytime, it's kind of like bouncy and bright, and during nighttime, it's pretty quiet. I kind of like the music because I'm like playing and just like, you know, like mumbling the soundtrack, but if you have someone around you, you might consider putting on headphones because um, I guess it can drive some people crazy. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking about someone in particular now, but that's for another story, <laughs> guys. And by the way, he's filming this right now, so I'm kind of getting pretty screwed if I say anything. When it comes to the duration, it's... A really long game so basically if I start now I'm probably gonna look like this when I'm done so yes I started the game two months ago and it's divided into years and guess what I'm still stuck in the winter of the first year after two months and if you knew me you'd know that I'm playing every day so it's a really, 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 really long game and I'm not even sure if I'm ever gonna finish it, but yeah, I guess it's kind of like Tamagotchi style. Now, moving on to something that I didn't really like at the start, the difficulty. It's really hard, as in really hard. I mean, you might think that getting stranded on a deserted island by yourself would be easy. No, actually it's not. Okay, never mind, it's not easy, but... You know, when you think of Robinson Crusoe, if you think about him, he found a friend that he called Friday. So maybe his late cousins found some friends and girls and they call them the Saturdays, you know? You know, get the joke? Friday, the Saturdays, you know, the band. What about us? I can say that in Harvest Moon, it's really, really hard at the start. You have to take care of your stamina of your food, of your crops that die all the time anyway, it doesn't matter how good you are at, you know, harvesting, your crops always die, so just bear with it. And your chicken, your cows, your sheep, whatever, it's really tough to handle all of them at the same time. So at the start I was really like, okay, I'm just gonna hold on and hold on and try to continue. And eventually, when you get the hang of it, it's kind of okay, so... Yeah, I guess if you're not scared of the challenge, you might as well go for it. As much as I'm not really tough on games and I usually always like the graphics and the colors, I think that Harvest Moon could have been designed so much better for the Nintendo DS. I mean, the colors are really nice, but the design itself and the overall look, it could have been better for a Nintendo DS. So if you're looking for like a huge, huge really nicely designed masterpiece, then go for computer games! <laughs> Down to the control of the game, basically it's kind of hard to get around with the stylus because it's hard to handle the hammer or the chicken or whatever you need to handle. You always need the stylus and you need to pick this and release this and then at the same time, sometimes you have to use the stylus and the directional like controls. So to handle the game, you basically have to really sit and focus and do whatever. So if you're like in a shaky situation or like on the go, it shouldn't be for you. Which is kind of funny because it's the kind of game you want when you just want to relax and you don't want to like think too much about stuff, you know. But at the same time, you need like a place where you're still and like where you can really focus and press the stuff. So it's kind of weird. And that was basically my review, my first impression review on Harvest Moon because I'm really far from being done with it. 
but I'm definitely still gonna continue playing it because I'm having fun. I want to know if you guys like it as well, so leave your comments down below if you've played be it before, played, if you've played it before, or if you think of playing it, or if you're soon gonna get it because, yeah, it's kind of entertaining. Some people complain a lot about it, but for instance, I really love mining. Thumbs up if you know what I'm talking about. Thumbs up. It's actually like this, not like this, but whatever farm you're raising. No, wait, no, 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 not whatever farm you're raising. Yeah, talking about mining, one last thing. Is it only me that find it weird that gold has like kind of almost no value in the game? It's like, yeah, what did you find? Gold. Oh, really? That's so boring. Yeah, I know. See you guys in the next review. Now I'm currently playing the second Hotel Dusk and I'm playing Chrono Trigger. Yep. Pokemon, but I mean Pokemon is like all the time, so it doesn't really count. 999. So most probably I'm gonna review one of them and yeah, see you guys at the next video. Good gaming. Bye!